来北京参加由奥地利葡萄酒推广协会举办的“葡萄酒之国”奥地利品酒会。Hello, Christian. Hello. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to China. Thanks very much. <laughs> okay. And cheers. Uh, cheers. You brought Austrian wines. Yeah.、Correct. I'm very eager and very interested to learn about Austrian wines.、Mm -hmm. For us, China is getting more and more important.、Uh, when we talk about export markets for Austria, China is on place number five already. Number five. Wow.、Uh, we are a very, very small wine growing country, so you still don't see too many wines from Austria here、Not、in、yet. the、yeah. market. Right. Not yet. But nevertheless, you are very important for us.、Okay. That's why we are here. You're here. And <laughs> we wanna tell and people what Austrian wine is. About, for example, we are having Grüner Veltliner in our class. No problem. It. Um, it's、mm. actually an indigenous grape variety. It's only growing in Austria. We are very proud of it. We have one third of the production with Grüner Veltliner. One third. One in, third in the whole country. Yeah, in the、oh, whole country.、Wow. So we、That's、produce、huge. quite a lot.、Mm. Yeah.、Mm. Um, the good news is we have a lot of it, also for China a little bit. But、mm. the bad news is that we drink most of it ourselves.、Um. So eighty percent of the production is drunk by the Austrians, <laughs> and there's only a tiny、Very、quantity for, export. for the exports.、Oh, yeah. Oh wow. So actually, we are very happy because we like our wines.、Mm. But nevertheless,、uh, we would like to see Austrian wine in the best restaurants here, also in, in China. China. Austria is a beautiful country, you know.、Um, you know, from the movie and、mm -hmm. uh, and Sisi Gongzu, Sisi Gongzu. Yes. And also, of course, we know the、uh, New Year's Eve concert.、Yes. We know the, the great composers.、Yes. Beautiful country. And then, so now、uh, we are learning, you know,、uh, great wines from your country. And what are the main like、uh, wine growing regions in、mm -hmm. Austria? Like in Austria, it's very good that you said、uh, that you know and you appreciate the culture in Austria because we also think that、mm. wine is culture,、mm. and this culture takes place in the eastern parts.、Mm. So we have in the western parts mountains. This is good for skiing. Austria is also <laughs> very popular、skiing. for winter skiing.、Oh. So a lot of、mm. Europeans come、mm. to Austria to do their winter holidays、mm. and to ski there. But in the eastern parts, we have wine production. So Uh, we have four big wine-growing regions. The first and very interestingly,、uh, also our capital. So we have Vienna. Vienna.、Mm. We have up to 700 hectares of vineyards、wow. within the city boundaries.、Mm -hmm. Then we have Lower Austria, actually around Vienna, the、mm. wine-growing region. Then we have Burgenland in the eastern parts. And Styria with its aromatic、mm. wines in the very south.、Mm. Okay. So we we have this uh, main uh, one、uh, region on the east side, and then、uh, what are the what are the main、uh, varietals?、Mm -hmm. uh, we have been talking about Grüner Veltliner. This is an Austrian grape variety. We、Which、have is this? This is、oh, this、okay. what you have in your glass,、mm -hmm. yeah. We divide these four wine-growing regions into smaller wine-growing regions. Okay, then,、mm, mm. so one would be Kamptal, what you have in your glass right mm, now. Mm. Indigenous grape varieties, like they are only growing in Austria, like Grüner Veltliner, also like Blau Fränkisch,、mm. a red、uh, wine, or Blauer Zweigelt, also Zierfandler, and so on. These are all special varieties only growing in Austria. But we also offer perfect conditions for international grape varieties, okay, such as、um, Riesling, Riesling、mm. Pinot Blanc,、mm. Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Pinot Noir.、Oh. All this is also all popular、produced. ones.、Mm. And we are very happy that we can combine sometimes this Austrian style together with the international, international. style.、Mm. You mean you blend them we together? We blend them together,、oh, mm. but we make sure that all our blended wines also will have an Austrian touch. Now let's try try this. Can、yes. you say this again in English? This、uh, Grüner Veltliner. Grüner Veltliner.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hard <laughs> to it's speak hard. German. I think,、uh, yeah, it's only for German German speaking people easy to pronounce. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's true. Oh, it's very nice. I, I drink a big.、Um, Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> It's very nice for me because I didn't know what to expect.、Yeah. Right? I like this、uh, good、um, balance of you know like citrus and、yes. also I like personally I prefer more sweet.、Mm -hmm. You know, so it has some sweetness but、mm -hmm. not、um, mm -hmm. over、mm -hmm. over sweet. 
I heard a little bit before you were talking、yeah. about summer one, like very authentic. I like the word authentic. Yes. Authentic.、Yeah. So this is how I felt、mm-hmm. about authentic.、Mm. I think if you、uh, take the glass to your nose, you may also find a little bit of pepper in it.、Mm. If you think about white pepper, that's、mm. what we think that、oh, uh, you、yes. would find in Grüner Veltliner.、Mm. Also because of the acidity, as you mentioned, is rather high. We think it is a perfect food companion. In Austria, we sometimes say you cannot do anything wrong when you give your guests a glass of Grüner Veltliner like、mm. this, what is、mm. full-bodied、mm. and、uh, long-lasting, very wine, rich、yeah. for mm. white wine. Mm. Mm. You can even combine it with dark meat, or、mm. it's just up a little bit to the sauces what you offer.、Mm. But most of this wine is going brilliantly with with different kinds of meat,、yeah. of food, yeah. yeah like a chicken.、Uh, yes, and, uh, also seafood, seafood, okay seafood yeah, yeah.、Mm-hmm. very much. Seafood, cheese, f- cheese mm. also. Mm. We、uh, tried, and I think we are very successful with this kind of wine style together, also with Asian cuisines.、Mm. If you think about Different styles of、Picking、seafood, duck. baking duck、mm. also、mm. might work, but I personally would go for red wine with baking、red、duck.、Wine. Maybe,、mm-hmm. yeah. What are the other like、uh, red wines you you would like to red recommend、wines? to us?、Yeah. Yes,、mm. uh, we have Blauer Zweigel. Blauer Zweigel. Yes,、okay. and、mm. Blau Frankisch. Blau Frankisch. These are both wines that are also grape varieties only growing in Austria,、mm. and.、Mm. In Austria, as you might know, people are drinking very fruity wines. So,、oh. actually, it's very fruit. All wines are very fruit driven. Even、Why? if you have、mm. red wines,、mm. people like to taste out the fruits of the wine.、Mm. So, actually, the product what you are having in your glass is 100% nature.、Oh. So,、uh, also organic. Wine production、mm. is very, very popular in Austria. What's the percentage of organic wine in Austria? I think it's up to ten percent. Ten percent. Yes. Oh, that's pretty big. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, I'm glad I'm here today because I really learned a lot about Austrian wines, and also I, I know now Austria not only has music, you know, landscape, scenery, or the, you know, um, fresh air, and <laughs> also has wonderful wines. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank okay, you. and cheers to Austria. Cheers, <laughs> thank you. 张明老师，你好！啊，今天来参加这个奥地利葡萄酒品酒会啊，我很高兴，因为呢，呃，给我一个很好的机会了解奥地利葡萄酒。提到奥地利，我可能不会第一个事情可能不会想到是葡萄酒，因为我们会想到音乐哈，因为他们音乐很有名。呃，像一些这个呃古典音乐的作曲家呀，还有他们有一个很有名的这个 New Year's Eve concert 哈。嗯，那么葡萄酒。奥地利葡萄酒有什么特点？跟我们说一下呢？嗯，那么奥地利的葡萄酒对于我来说，要是简单来描述的话，它就是很正、纯净、干净啊、哦，很纯、很干净，比较少这种加工的感觉哈，或者技术、呃、对，很很天然，很有很好的这种亲和力，嗯、这种果味很明晰。呃，虽然这么一个紧凑的小的国家，但是它的这种风格、差异、多样也相当的明显。嗯嗯，其实奥地利，呃，要是说在葡萄酒国际葡萄酒市场上，呃，更多的还是它奥地利的自己的品种，呃，尽管它也种很多国际化的品种，你比如说像，呃，霞多丽，像，呃，长相思，像，雷司令等等这些，黑皮诺也有，啊，黑皮诺也有，白皮诺也有，甚至于灰皮诺也有。呃，但是呢，它产量大，然后影响力广泛的还是它本地的。你比如说像这个红的，嗯，这是这个塞洛润，呃，然后、哦、对塞洛润，然后还、哦、以及种植量最大的，几乎占据它全国三分之一面积葡萄园的，呃，那个 Gr- Gruner。嗯，我们尝一下。这就像我说的，它很纯，嗯，有很好的这个亲和力，呃，你能感所所能够感受到的，从这款酒上，都是这种果实的果汁的，嗯，并没有别的，嗯，你没有感觉到说它有这个十十三度、十几度的这样的酒精，嗯、但。呃，但实际上它这款酒是有是就十二三十三度的酒精，十三度还是比较重的，啊、对、嗯，但是你感觉不到它应该在你口腔里
，完全是这种果实的果味儿的、嗯、这种感觉。对对对对对、嗯。像这样的酒，我想绝大部分的消费者，喝就是当你端起来一喝。可能说，哎，我喝一杯，再喝一杯，再喝一杯。嗯、据说是他们那边那个白葡萄酒的产量更多，红的还少一些。啊，对，嗯、因为奥地利它从葡萄酒产区来说还是偏冷凉的，偏北，所以在这样的气候下，呃，更多的是这个白葡萄，呃，红的它应该是白的是红的两倍的样子。呃，我觉得奥地利呢，假如说你作为一个旅行的目的地，那么。<笑>奥地利更是一个好的目目的地，就是你要是想到欧洲去旅行的话，奥地利是一个首选。我我很喜欢这个地方、呃，非常有文化、嗯，然后风景又特别美丽啊，嗯嗯、好像有山有湖那种感觉。对，甚至于我带我女儿去，然后走了一趟。然后我再问他，我说要是再去一趟欧洲，去哪儿以后，他反应说还是去奥地利。哦，真的，嗯、哇哦、嗯、，OK，、嗯、那你说了半天我，我让我都很想去了。<笑> OK， 好 ，Cheers to Austria，、嗯、<笑>好，谢谢李老师。<笑>你好，你好，你好。今天你来参加这个奥地利这个品酒会哈，对那个奥地利葡萄酒的这个印象是呃如何？我刚才在尝这个，这个是奥地利的这个冰酒，呃、哎哎哎，雷司令的冰冰酒，这我觉得这个比较适适应中国市场。对对对，我也也挺喜欢雷司令的，对，它是不是有点甜？有一点对，有一点甜。像这个，要如果配中国的那个四川的麻辣火锅，绝对是非常棒的。<笑>它是非常甜的，<笑>它跟别的冰酒还比那个糖分高的很多。<笑>我也是第一次来品尝奥地利的那个，<笑>我也是。呃、<笑>好,好,好,好,好,好,好，好，好，好，好，好，谢谢，谢谢。<笑>